Hi there, and welcome to another edition of Tuesdays with Corey. Today, we do not have laptops out in front of us today. Right. So we are going to be, this is a, this is a speaking show. And... <laughs> oh, you were waiting for me to say something. I was. Okay, it's yeah. very awkward that you did not. Because it is a speaking this show. It's a speaking show. It makes sense. And today, right, we're going good. to be talking with Boz. Hello. Or Baz. Boss. Boss. Baz. You got it. Okay. Thanks, Corey. You're welcome. Yep. Uh, we've been working together for years. And I <laughs> we have, so, actually. Still not know your name. Kind of odd. Um, we are going to today be talking about the open sourcing yes. of service fabric. That's right. So this is something that happened just a couple weeks ago. Just a couple weeks ago, yeah, on Pi Day. At, on Pi Day. 3314. 3.1415. That was planned. Yes. Very good. Okay. Wow, that's impressive. I know. Yes. Uh, so yeah, we did open source on Pi Day. I was really popular in high school. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us what we've open sourced. Uh, okay, so and we've why. open sourced. So we open sourced basically all of Service Fabric. Um, about a year ago, we started kind of dabbling into open source a little bit with our programming models. We did Service Fabric Explorer, but these are kind of the, you know, just kind of edges of the edges peripheral. Of the, uh, the peripheral. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, um, but we've been planning during that time and during the last maybe over two years, ever since we started Linux work, mm -hmm. we've been planning on how can we actually open source the entire code base. The so all enchilada. three million lines or so of source code. It's a lot of source code. And it's a lot of source code. So yeah, so a couple weeks ago, all that went out open source under source the code, MIT it license. Equates to power, so it, that is how much power. It is a lot of power. Yeah, that's right. Sorry. We do sorry. measure. And we measure saying, power by lines of code. That's, that's, right. that's, that's right. how we. That's I how we operate here. You said, you said uh, uh, we open source through <laughs> MIT license. Yeah, so it's under MIT okay, license. Great, fantastic. Um, and so it's kind of a starting point. Okay. Um, we kind of we have the code out there. Yes. We have kind of basic build and tests that we can do, and now we're kind of this is this is sort of our. Starting points. So now we're kind of in this uh, is step one. Yeah, this is step one. So now we're working towards getting to open development. And I that's, see. That's the real important thing, I right? See. So open source is one thing, but actually doing development out in the open. I see. Um, getting the entire team, like the core team, to be working out on GitHub and actually collaborating with people. Yes. Yes. That's that's kind of the ultimate that's goal true. that we're working. And it's and now. it's and uh, and this, so this is super interesting because it's one mm. of these things that I think, um, uh, especially for products that weren't built originally, uh, products and yeah. teams that sort of right. weren't built around this concept, but then you know you, you, you shift it in strategy, but it takes quite a bit of time yeah. to sort of get yeah. people to work differently, right? Exactly. And so, yeah. Yeah. so this is one of the challenges that you're kind of raising here is that yeah, we can get the source code out there, but to actually treat it like a full right. sort of uh, community development project yes. requires the entire engineering yes. team to sort of work very differently than they used to work. Yeah, and, and not, in, not only the engineering team, but there are a lot of changes we actually had to make to our build processes because, uh, like you said, being, you know, being a product that we developed internally at Microsoft for, I don't know, seven, eight years, something like that. Right, and originally yeah. even geared towards just being an internal and facing just being internal platform, facing, precisely. Right? Yeah. right, right, right. And so, you know, we have a lot of we have internal build processes and build systems that we use sure. to kind of, you know, I guess it's you know mainly to ensure some level of quality across everything we ship. But none of that stuff a is very available. Level a very high level, a very high level of quality. I might add. Yes. yes. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but of course, none of that stuff is available outside of these walls. Right. So you can't just throw that up. Out to the right, out to GitHub because then nobody can do anything with it. That's so right. So you're basically saying there's a lot of that. There were originally a lot of dependencies on other things basically. that we're not planning to open source. Doesn't make sense to open source. It's, it's not even necessarily dependencies and other things, but just the way the source code is built and tested. Oh, I see. Those tools aren't available outside. Of course, right? and they're they kind of their homebrew, they homebrew tools, right, right, and they, right. it wouldn't make sense for other things anyway. So it wouldn't really be, you know, it wouldn't make any sense to do that. So it's a matter of moving everything to publicly available tools, CI systems, etc. Um, and then also getting the entire team into this mode of, okay, we're now developing out in the open, we're actually working with people, we're collaborating with people outside of the company, inside of the company, it doesn't even really matter anymore. Right. Basically treating it as an actual open source project. That's, yes. that's, that's sort of the challenge that's ahead of us that we're, that we're working towards and we're trying but to be But that is the plan. That is, that is the plan, we're working on it now. Got we're it. pretty aggressive about getting everything out there as fast as we sure. can too. And so um, this first wave, you said you sort of started now, you originally started with some of the top programming language models. Yeah. Did you see, what did you see from the community in that first wave? I mean, was it a good involvement or so it was a little bit slow or, you know, what have you seen so it was, far? It, it was, it was good for it was good for what it was. Sure. Because sure. even at that time we were still doing our own development internally, yes. which is which isn't the right model. So you're taking drops basically. Yeah, we were basically mm. doing code bombs. Yep. And that's, <laughs> it's it's not the right model. And we, we know that of course, but it's kind of that was our it's starting point. We had sure. to start somewhere. Sure. So we started there. And that's um, sort of what you'll do now until you get to this open. Exactly, as well. yeah, that's what we're doing now. It's kinda it's the same thing .NET did initially. They were kind of doing code bombs for a little while while they, you know, kinda get got everything out in the open. So we're we're following basically the same path. Got it. Uh, yeah. So that's we're cool, excited though. about it. 
that though. It's very good. It's, so now I this will good. allow people to take the take basically the certified platform, not only run it anywhere, which was already supported, could but now that, yeah. now uh, you can go and peruse the code. You can make changes. You can go well, tweak yeah. it to your own needs. You can you can fork it. You can change it. You can do whatever you want. It's it's under an MIT license, so, so you can pretty, run pretty it however freebie. you like. It's pretty much yeah. That's it's, cool. It's totally open. It's free. Yeah, love it. Free as you can get. And so let me let me close on this last question for you. What do you feel like is the biggest thing that you've learned taking, and, and this is your first foray into open source, right, uh, as part it's, of this it's team? Our, it's our team's first major foray into yeah. it. Yeah. And you personally yeah. as well. What, what do you feel uh, like? Yeah, it's, my, it's definitely my biggest. It's the first time I've run a big open source yeah. project. So what's like the, maybe the one thing that you were surprised about doing this whole project? The, I, the, the most interesting thing was there's, there's a lot of emphasis on setting up how you actually govern a project like this, mm -hmm. which, which is actually kind of fascinating to learn how other projects do this. Um, what the right way to govern our own project is, given that it's it's kind of a mature code base, and there's already a large team around it. Right. How do you take that and then form kind of a governance model that makes sense? Right. You're not starting from to, scratch to, and letting people build on it. it. You're basically right, like, exactly. we've actually got something. Not only do we have something, but we take major dependencies inside the platform. On yeah. It. So yeah, how do you yeah. govern that? That's yeah. a challenge. So That's it was, interesting. It was interesting. Yeah. We spent a lot of time kind of looking at how you know Apache Foundation does it, how the Eclipse Foundation does it. Um, and just kind of learning from that and seeing what would work best for us and for the people that want to work with us on the project. That's awesome. Yeah. And so yeah, some, a lot of excitement already. I know Definitely. that we announced yeah. it and saw a lot of excitement out there from this. It was, so. yeah, it was, it was pretty good. I mean, a lot our, of confusion as well. well it's always, <laughs> always a challenge with any announcement, right? But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so. But it wasn't bad though. We were, we were trending on GitHub at one point. Uh, pretty fast. Which That's kind of nice. It was, yeah, it was good. Um, okay, more than we expected. More than good. Yeah. So let's do. We'll follow up. We'll probably put a link here of sort of how people can find the source code. Right? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, Faz, I really appreciate you talking about this. This of is course. super cool, and it'll My be pleasure. it'll be interesting to see as you get to this next phase what you learn in the process. Yeah. There. Yeah. See awesome. How it goes. All right. Cool. right thank on. you. Thank you. And thank you for joining us. This is Azure Tuesdays with Corey or Azure TWC hashtag in front of that. And uh, are you on the Twitter sphere? I am not on the Twitter sphere. Okay, so if you have questions, I should have but asked I am this maybe GitHub. before. We'll edit this. I, uh, we'll clean that <laughs> up. Uh, he's on GitHub. You can find him on GitHub, uh, or you can tweet at me, and I will email him. You will email <laughs> oh, me. Uh, send a carrier pigeon. Old school. Send a carrier yeah, pigeon or right. smoke signal send or something. Send me a that's written letter good. with yes. any of your queries, and we yes. will get back to you within two to three weeks. I will lend you my fountain pen. I appreciate that. Fantastic. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> have a great Tuesday. Yes, we're good. <laughs> oh, are we filming? Yes. We are talking about <laughs> our, our uh, muscular our physique. <laughs> stretching. I have to stretch before I do my kicks. I can't touch I'm my toes. Even, that's a pretty good. I, that was a pretty good. That move. was good. I can't touch my toes. That's a flexibility. You almost fell over. You know what it is? Because the cloud is for flexible deployments. Yeah. <laughs> I'm incredibly agile.